Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Screamin' Pirate EDC. My name is Brad, and uh, today we have another plunderer plank. But before we get into it, what is on me today? I have the Man in the Moon mug from Death Wish Coffee. Very good stuff, guys. Next up, I have the Vera Forma. This is the minimalist wallet and the Fell Halter Tybalt pin. Now, there is a link in the description to both of these items, and uh, they are affiliate links, guys. You buy something, helps the channel. So uh, go ahead and check them out. Next, my multi-tool and coin. This is going to be, let me share their right side up. This is going to be the Stay the Course coin and the Beer Bomb from Notorious EDC. Now, this coin is from Erling EDC. It is going to be dropping, I believe, the 29th. Um, I will have a pop-up on the screen and kind of tell you guys exactly when. And there will be a link in the description to Erling's website. Guys, I love this coin. I love the detail. It's fantastic. Check out the Instagram for some photos of it. Lastly, we have the Hank. Of course, it's the Screamin' Pirate EDC Hank. This is from a Renegade EDC. Link in the description. Everyone purchased. Helps out the channel just a little bit, guys. I do appreciate it. All right. All that is done. Okay. Let's go ahead and get into this plunder plank. So what do we have today? Well, we have the A Purvis Progeny V3. Uh, yeah, guys, this is this is a cool knife. Uh, I like the sheep's foot, reverse tanto sheep's foot, I guess you would call it. it it's very, very neat. Um, I actually really like the stiffer detent on this one. Um, it's very cool, very fun knife, but Let's go ahead and head uh, top down and take a closer look at the Progeny V3. All right, we are top down with the A Purvis Progeny V3. Now, guys, uh, I am not going to go over stats with this knife. I'm not going to go over thickness behind the edge because this is flat and the production is hollow and I'm not doing all that. I will have a pop up on the screen that'll give you the stats that I have that I took from this knife. Uh, just know the thickness behind the edge is going to be slightly different on the production models. With that being said, let's take a closer look at this knife. Um, I love the materials here. You know, this is a green G10, but this is going to be a green micarta in production. Very nice transitions here. Love the full tie back spacer. Adam always does a great job with his pocket clips. Um, very nice there. I actually really like these thumb studs. Um, they're very easy to use. I never had any troubles with them. I like that this looks like a custom pivot from this side. And then the other side is just using Torx, which is super nice. Um, also, let's take a look at that stone, uh, that uh, this like stone wash on the blade. Yeah, uh, I like it. It's like this nice mirror looking stone wash. Um, yeah, good stuff. I really do like the aesthetics and the look of this one, guys. But let's go ahead and do some size comparisons. Now, while I'm doing the size comparisons, I'm going to have the stats pop up for you guys on this knife. Uh, first up, let me go ahead and grab the Vero Synapse. Um, I was surprised how similar these two are in size. Um, now, as far as ergonomics, I actually like the uh, Progeny V3 more, guys. I actually do. I actually think it's it's more comfortable in hand. I really do like it more. Um, but as far as sliciness, uh, I mean, guys, it's, you know, <laughs> it's a Vero. It's going to slice. It's pretty damn good stuff. So you go, guys, side by side. Next up, we have the Brian Brown Raptor. Um, now, I was surprised at how similar these were in overall size. Um, a lot closer than you'd think they would be. Um, now, I would say that, you know, the Raptor is more slicey because it's hollow ground, but I, I just said those are going to be the same. As far as visually, for me, I like the uh, Brian Brown more visually, um, just for my personal preferences. But in hand, they are about equal, guys. I was very surprised. Very, very surprised about that. All right, after that, we have what I think is one of the biggest competitors against this knife and uh, what I consider the reigning champ of the reverse Tontos at this moment, and no, it's not the 940. This is the Protec Malibu. Um, these are almost 
exactly the same in overall length. I was shocked. Um, they look very nice next to each other. Um, and I think they both had these great looking, you know, like I said, reverse Tonto type blades. Very nice. Uh, they're about equal ergonomically for me, guys. Um, I think that the clip on the Adam Purvis is actually a little bit better. So that, that surprised me a fair bit. And then last, I think the knife in this price range, now given guys, all of these are around, you know, 280, which is about the price of the Progeny, all the way up to 350-ish. I think pound for pound, these are your two biggest competitions right here, guys, or the, the biggest competition. This is going to be the Pena Large Apache. Um, very similar in price and in terms of what their use is, guys. You know, what are you doing here? Um, but the, unfortunately, you only get front flipper on the Pena. Now, given it's a very good front flipper and you have multiple deployments. Yeah, Progeny is really nice for that. All right, guys, that is our size comparisons. So let's go ahead and talk about the Progeny. Do I, what do I like? What do I not like? Um, I don't like that I have yet to be able to reverse flick it. It's just maybe the hair, the handle's a little bit too narrow. I'm not really sure. I'm having a lot of trouble with it. Um, also, I really do wish there was some jimping up top. It doesn't need it. Your hand does stay in place, but like I wish there was some kind of jimping for my thumb to land on up here. Um, and I would like for the jimping on this flipper tab to actually be a little bit more aggressive. I found myself slipping off of it from time to time. Um, but the thumb studs are very, very good. Uh, strong detent, I do like that. Um, the inlays are good. I do feel the transition just a little bit, um, which I would like to not, but you know, you pickers can't be choosers sometimes on their knives. I do love this landing zone back here, guys. It is very nice. And I do really like the clip and I love how slim the overall design is. And it fits very well, you know, in and out of the pocket. And it, you know, you'd barely notice that it's there. So it is very interesting. I do like the design and I am happy that, uh, you know, best grind, which is hollow grind is gonna be on the full productions, but is it gonna stay in the collection? Let's go ahead and head back up top for the final decision. All right, guys, we are back up top. So we uh, had some stats, some size comparisons and uh, kind of my thoughts on the knife, but is this knife uh, one that's gonna stay in the collection? Now, I'll go ahead and tell you, this is a prototype. Um, this was a full, this was a full flat. The, uh, production one was a hollow grind, a couple other small changes. Um, but I actually did not purchase, uh, one of these knives on the drop actually. Um, the reason I didn't buy it is guys, I have a big collection. I do, you know, it's like 80 plus knives and I, I mean, I just don't have space <laughs> to be honest with you guys. Would I carry it? I don't know. And so because of that, uh, this is a plank for me guys now With that being said, I'm not saying it's a bad knife In fact, I'm not saying you shouldn't have bought this knife or you shouldn't try to hunt one down at this point because the drop has ended um, but For me personally, you know I don't know that it's an EDC knife that I would carry over other options that I have right now in the collection And you saw some of those on the top down in the size comparison. I mean, I carry those a lot <laughs> uh but yeah, guys, you know, it's it's a great knife. I like the design. I love this like sheep's foot reverse Tonto action going on. I, I really do like it, but it's just not gonna be one that's gonna stay in the collection for me. With that being said, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the review. Uh, make sure you uh, comment and like the video, guys. And uh, hopefully if you made it this far, I wanted to let you guys know my website is live, screamandpirate.com. Go over, check it out. There's uh, even a merch page, guys. Well, with that being said, hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you on the next one.